Hi there, my name is Mike Montgomery from Modern Builds, and today I'd like to show you how I built this desk. I know it looks fancy, but it's really pretty easy. Let's get started. To start, I got a piece of 3 quarter inch walnut plywood, and I cut it in half. Next, I set up my straight edge so that I could cut my mitered corners. And instead of just cutting my pieces out, I'm doing it in order so that I have a continuous grain across the desk. So first I cut my side, then my top piece, and finally the other side. The bottom isn't ever going to be seen, so I just cut that out of the other piece of plywood. Then I moved over to the table saw and cut some walnut strips that I'd be using as edge banding on the plywood. Now these bandy clamps make it really quick and easy to apply, but you could just as easily use masking tape. Once the glue dried, I got my block plane out and I used that to flush everything up. Now I'm not good with a plane, so it was a good chance for me to practice, but you could always use a flush trim bit in a router as well. After that, I came back with a razor blade and used it like a card scraper to get everything super smooth and flush. Next, I got a 3 quarter inch straight router bit in my trim router and I used that to cut the dados for the dividers for my drawers. And I just used a chisel to square everything up. So here's a situation where I should have really practiced what I preach. Instead of making a couple test cuts before I cut all of my plywood, I just trusted that I set the blade to 45 degrees. And unfortunately, it was about a degree off, so I had a little bit of gap in my miters. So, instead of using wood glue, I mixed up some sawdust and epoxy to fill those voids, which ended up working really well. But then I made the other mistake of using a belt sander to clean that epoxy up, and I sanded through the veneer. But it's no biggie, we can fix that later. Here I came back with my doweling jig to reinforce the miters. I really don't think it needs it, I think it's strong enough without it, but I think they look cool, so why not, right? And finally, I could go back to the table saw and cut the dividers for the drawers. Once I had it all edge banded, I could glue it in, and the shell of the desk was pretty much done. So I used a really simple method to make these drawers. It's basically a quarter inch dado towards the bottom of the drawer that'll accept a quarter inch thick piece of plywood. Now, if you're not familiar with this type of drawer construction, I'll leave a link in the description to the video that I learned from. And while I put the rest of these drawers together, let me talk to you about this week's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace makes it incredibly easy to build your own website or online store. No experience needed. I've been using Squarespace personally for a few years now. Not only did I build the Modern Builds website with it, I also built the Modern Maker podcast website too. And guess what? I didn't have any prior experience either. Their templates look great and are super easy to use. Not to mention they've got an awesome customer support team to help along with any questions that you might have along the way. I've asked them a few questions and each time they've been answered really, really fast and really right, <laughs> which is important. Squarespace has even been nice enough to offer viewers of my channel 10% off their first purchase. All you have to do is follow the link in the description and use the code MODERNBUILDS. These drawer slides that I'm using are called Euro slides, and they are the easiest drawer slides I've ever used. They mount on the bottom of your drawers, and then with a simple spacer can mount really fast to the walls of your shelves. So remember, if you plan on building this project, make sure and check out the written article where I'll have plans and materials lists. Next, I cut out a piece of maple that I'll be using as my drawer face and I just taped on some spacers so that I could hot glue the drawer face to the drawer before I came back with some screws to strengthen everything up. It's a really quick method of putting on drawer faces that works about 90% of the time. The drawer pulls themselves are just made from some scrap walnut I had laying around. I'd never made pulls myself, but it was actually really easy. I just used a couple spacer blocks to make sure everything was flat and I could just screw and glue it in. Now I ordered these legs from TableLegs.com and they look really great, but they're just a little too wide. They stick past the desk and I don't want that. So I cut my mounting block about an inch and three quarters down so that it would have a narrower spacing. And I also cut my legs down about three inches, making sure to use the shim so that everything stayed flat. Then I could round over the bottom of them so that nothing ever splinters out. You remember those spots where I sanded through the veneer? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I got a cassette of markers that are made to fix scratches in furniture, and I thought that I might be able to blend that out or at least hide it a little bit, which I did a tiny bit, but that just didn't go quite like I hoped it would. <laughs> 
Now I know the markers aren't made for doing this, they're more for filling in gouges and fixing scratches, but I hope that I'd be able to kind of work them in and kind of hide that spot. But it just didn't come out as good as I was hoping it would. You live and learn, I guess. I should have known better than to use the bell sander to sand down that epoxy on the corners. I just didn't want to take the time to sand it with the orbital sander. My bad. Either way, I'm not gonna let that derail the project. Most of the spots like right here and over here, I either have my speakers or something else on the desk. So for the most part, none of these spots are gonna be visible. It's mostly that I know about them, that's what's gonna bug me. I guess that goes to show that we all make mistakes. Don't let that hold you back. And as a finish, I just added a couple coats of Danish oil. So overall, I think this project came out great. Yeah, it's got its minor flaws, but hey, so do I, you know? <laughs> Either way, who cares? The legs look awesome. Shout out Table Legs. I'm gonna leave a link to the ones that I use in the description. They're not a sponsor, but they make a good product and I wanna shout them out for it. If you've got any questions, be sure and ask and check out the written article if you plan on building this. About all there is to it. I wanna give one more big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video along with a lot of other great content online. If you're interested in or need a website and you haven't already checked out Squarespace, make sure and do it. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up down below. That lets me know the kind of videos you guys are into and what you might be interested in seeing next. If this is your first time on my channel, I'd like to say welcome as well as please consider subscribing. That way you can stay updated every time I post a new project. And finally, if you wanna watch another one of my videos, there'll be a couple popping up on the screen, maybe like right here and here. Otherwise, I'll see you next week on Modern Builds.